first things first is I'm back. Took me a while, but my computer basically just stopped working correctly. It was a Mac, but I've been using this literally all my college um, time, and it finally was just kind of like, it was not compatible with anything anymore. The storage was terrible. Like, it wouldn't even let me, like, do my videos from the hard drive for Movie Maker. It was just terrible altogether, but... It didn't come until like yesterday. I had to drive halfway to my hometown to pick it up because I actually shipped it wrong. Because you guys know I make a lot of mistakes. So instead of sending like to this location where I currently am in North Carolina, it's sent to my old address way back in VA. So I was just like, crap. So I had to literally drive halfway. And I met my um mom's girlfriend. She is amazing she met me halfway and I got that computer uh, it was just it was a lot I have the biggest computer this is really heavy um, and I just want to thank all of you guys for sending your support and I really 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 appreciate everything you guys like the cash apps all of that like I really really appreciate it I'm not gonna let you down I'm gonna go hard on these videos okay so I'm sorry I'm, I I know I'm talking a whole head right here, but I had to interject before I started this video just to explain where I was and how I'm now back. And um, I'll just stop talking. I'll stop talking. We're done. Uh, 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 um, what are you talking about? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I bet you're wondering why I brought back this piece. Um, I have so much amazing news to share before we get into this painting. I got married. I got married on the 4th, I think, on the 4th of December. But I got married. And then two days before that, did I just spit? Two days before that, I got accepted to my first art show for this painting and rally and then yesterday the Cory kitchen noticed me I cannot i cannot he said we're forever connected Ooh. oh my god oh my god oh my god and the other day the Cory kitchen put me in a video he put me in his video shouted me out i uh, you know this is bright i need to switch it up switch it up one second one second one second Okay, much better. I needed my samurai shirt because I've been samurai. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my channel, DB Nala Dunba I didn't even do my uh, intro. Hey, hey, it's me, Nala the Lion King, and this is my channel, DB Nala Dug by Nala. Um, this channel, I do a bunch of art and creative things. I try new things. I do old things. I do little subjects, but. All of my art revolves around the idea of mental health and being comfortable talking about it. So I am pretty emotional on this channel. I go on tangents, um, but I welcome you guys and I thank you guys for coming along. So in honor of all of this, of all these blessings, I am going to do a self-portrait. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. I know, I know this is Dreaming of December. I'm not saying it's not gonna happen because I mean, Dreaming of December is literally the subject of this month. So, but I just wanted to cut in really quick and start a new self-portrait. I'm not sure what size portrait I want to do. This is the same size as I did this canvas, this one over here. Um, I may do that. I really do love the bountifulness. Is that the right word? Bountifulness? The bountifulness of this big one behind me over here on the floor. Well, I really don't know, but it's his Spooky Scary Sunday video and he put a bonus clip in there. So I'm gonna get my apron because it's a special occasion. I used to wear an apron, but I don't wanna mess my shirt up. So we Thank literally you. religiously watch every video. We wow. watch every Spooky so, Scary so you, Sunday. So Nala, you probably gonna see this, huh? How you doing? You know, it, it's so crazy how like the internet works. Like now we're like forever connected. Like in this one moment of time, we're like, you acknowledged me in this video and now here I am acknowledging you. Just thanking you for the support. And yeah, you know, I'm not mad at it. I'm not excited that much about it, but it wasn't gonna- Nala, what are you talking about? You think it- Don't make me come through this screen. 
Hey, my headphone getting snugged on the we got Momo over there. We got a couple expressions. You are not a robot. Did I say that? I don't I don't remember, but it sounds like something that I would say. Fantastic work. Okay, so you guys can see this is very, very real. And to respond to Corey Kenshin, this is what you actually said in the video right here. Blah blah and all these thoughts just freaking stomping on my head. Um and then I I slow it down, I clear my brain's whiteboard, swipe it, and then I write on there, you are a human. You're gonna get tired. You're not a freaking machine. You're not a freaking computer. You're an organic, blood-fueled, flawed human being. So technically, you didn't say you was like, you were not a robot, but you were not a machine. Either way, it was very, very, very inspirational and I just had to put that in there. Um, so honestly, that's the topic of my piece today. I'm going to be painting a self-portrait and usually I do do darker pieces, but this time I'm going to do a self-portrait using no black because one of my comments there gave me a challenge not to use black for any of my paintings. And I'm gonna do kind of like a collaged type piece like I used to do in college. And so I'm super excited about this. I don't know, I, I, I feel like I need to take a moment and really show those happier sides of me. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of expressions and I'm gonna be painting it right in front of you guys, step by step. So first thing, before I get any of this started, I have to take some pictures because I don't got no pictures of myself. Okay guys, after I, I e o the alphabet, <laughs> I got some pictures. So what I want to do, this will technically be a longer video because I'm going to be sketching in my brand new sketchbook someone sent me on Amazon. I'm just so happy. Thank you guys whoever did that. Um, so I'm going to be sketching a quick mock-up in here and then we're going to go straight onto our canvas. And also, in honor of a another comment, right up there someone talked about the color of pink so i'm gonna be using a salmon pink background like i'm really lighting it up you guys um yeah so let's get it going i'm excited okay bye all right you guys so i have some images i took and i am ready i am ready all right so let's get started okay so let's get into this design so for the design for this i'm thinking of a collaged amounts of facial features but i'm doing this with the idea of saying that you know we are flawed we are not robots we are not we're not perfect so i really want to do a self-portrait involving kind of like all of my emotions i guess and kind of like the messiness of it so i'm trying to get off that type of vibe nothing too crazy just bear with me i have my sketch this is what i'm going for um this is a self-portrait, so that's good. It's kind of lighthearted. It's gonna have a solid background, you guys. I'm trying a whole different style, so I am, uh, if this is bad, I'm, I'm blaming Corey Kitchen. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. This is hopefully gonna be a good success. I am about to choose what canvas I want to use. I was gonna go bigger, but I feel like smaller is a little bit easier. Without further ado, I know you guys missed my Ashmere's. Azure mirror, Azure mirrors, Azure mirrors, Azure mirrors. Shh. What I want to do is I want to start off with a really nice juicy piece. Oh, let's go with this black one. Well, that was aggressive. Okay, y'all, this is like the most clean we've been able to like do this thing. <sighs> Look at all this. <sighs> it's like when you like roll up your fruit roll up. All right, this is trash. All right, so clean palette, clean palette. My God, new canvas. Where is my scissors so I can pop this bad boy over? This is the plastic screwdriver they gave me for these contraptions. So I'm gonna stab it with this. Okay. 
Oh my. Okay, new canvas. Fresh palette. Let's do this thing. So, uh, I don't know how I'm not gonna use black. I'm a little nervous. I mean, I can use maybe like brown and dark blue. I guess that would be a cheat code. The colors I shall be using is brown, white. I gotta find some pink colors. This is a magenta. You know, if I bet you if I put some white in this, and a smidge of brown to dye out the colors. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we got this, and then, y'all, I, I, I know I'm an artist and I went to school, but I don't know my complimentary colors. Analogous colors. I gotta look it up. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna work well with pink. I don't wanna put green, because we're not making watermelon. If I do pink, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. If I do pink on the top half, right? But I like, not like bright pink, but like dry pink. I could do maybe, y'all, I'm at a loss. I don't know. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do? Stop at all this. I'm just gonna go ahead, get my Sharpie marker because we do sizzles and Sharpie around these parts because we don't go in afraid. But low key, I can't use black. I'm gonna really go to the max with this, okay? So I'm gonna use this brown. How many just brown? All right, you guys, because I am so indecisive, you'll start to notice I changed the position on all these faces. I think I kept a few, but I didn't stick to the original idea. But you know, that's me. I always change things around. It's, I don't know. It's weird because I'm trying to make sure this is like proportionate, but we all know that's not going to be happening here. So we're just going to have to work on the balance ourselves. I've never been with that. So we got five colors today, y'all. I want to be more salmon than anything, so I have all the colors I need to make salmon. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pink, move this bad boy over, and take a little bit of my yellow just to brighten it up a little bit, and a blop of my white and a dot of my brown. Let's start here. This is a uh, too beigey, but I like it. I'm gonna add a little bit more pink to it. Just a little bit more pink to it. This is it. I love it. Okay. I love it, y'all. I love it. Y'all, I don't think I ruined this brush. Okay, I'm actually really loving this salmon pink. I was afraid. I am happier now. Since our brown is our black, I'm going to use the brown to start off with my first type of darkest shadows. Okay, the brown is done so now I'm gonna go ahead and start actually making the skin color so I have my beautiful brown already slit to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this yellow in some of this red and some of this white and I'm really start getting this more of a saturated color I don't like using this dark brown because it just like when I add colors to it it just gets really really dry even though I do like dry colors it's a little too dry for me Y'all, of course my dang camera died, because it's always dying on me. I just gotta do better. It's okay. I'm still making it work, though. Still making it work. Now it's time to blow dry. Okay, now I'm coming in with even lighter color, and I'm gonna go ahead and start that process like I do before, and just build up gradually, gradually. All right, so this is the part of my painting where honestly I call this mistaken effort because I kept putting in these light colors and they just kept turning darker and darker. And I'm just like, you know what? Honestly, truly, I'm about to just go ahead and scrap this. So I literally completed my cycle over again and added a different type of brown. And I went backwards again. You know, I'm just the queen of starting over, honestly. But you know, it's fine. You don't really get that good idea until you scrap an idea and start over from scratch. Because if you keep working something that's already gone, it's just, it's canceled. It's canceled. I'm really trying to go back and just redo that idea of putting those lighter colors in. And then hopefully it actually makes a difference and it doesn't just blow up in my face and becomes one dark color. 
I'm gonna have to go more like out of the limb with these brights. Like, don't be afraid to really add that white. So now I'm finally getting into the best part, the detailing. You guys, did I mention I freaking love making teeth? Like just going back with the layers. Um, it was really cool. I went from like really like dry white colors and then work my way backwards like I usually do. So the darker color first, then I go back with the highlights. But when I put that white on there, those teeth look so good. It looks so good. Okay, you guys, so I'm back for the whole new setup because I explained in the beginning this is a whole different day. I couldn't even finish the recording. I had everything done. Okay, so we have finished our self-portrait, which looks disturbing, but I am so happy with this thing. I don't know why, but I think this is a success. This is like, honestly, a success. If you guys can see this well, it shines a little crazy, but I did it you guys I didn't use not one drop of black down to the actual stencil itself um, and then I used pink I used various shades of pink um this was terrifying because I don't like really like pink kind of bright things but I found somehow to make it a little bit more darker and I've been obsessed with like this whole kind of like jelly filled like jelly goop type of feel anyway so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and put this into my piece um I kind of I kind of like this a lot. Um, I want to thank you guys for everything once again. Please, 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 please comment, subscribe, like, post notifications, all that good stuff. Um, oh, don't forget. Like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>